there is magic in vision boards, but it's not the magic that we think and the magic that we hear about on social media. The magic of vision boards is your... Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Bahja. If this is your first time seeing my face, then hey, welcome to the channel. And if you've been here before, like always, it is an honor and a pleasure to have you here with me. Today, we're going to be breaking down vision boards, everything about vision boards, why they work, the techniques behind it, and how to make your own vision board. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you guys the exact steps that you're going to take to make the best vision board for yourself this year so that 2024 can be the best year yet you're really gonna eat you're really me and you together we're unstoppable we're gonna eat this year and i'm gonna teach you how and one of those ways is by making vision boards which have literally changed my life so let's get into the video vision boards are literally everything to me they've always they always have been i'm a very visual person so i've been on pinterest and we hard it back in middle school i would get a scrapbook put little vision boards in it and it's just my thing i love vision boards because they're aesthetically pleasing they're nice to look at but Ever since I started setting goals and I decided to change my life, vision boards have literally been what's been holding me down. Like what's kept me going, what's held me down is making my vision boards. This is my third year making a vision board and having clear goals. And let me tell you, every single year, my vision boards have come to life. The reason why I've been loving them so much is because it helps me get a sense of what I want my year to feel like. Vision boards are not a metric to measure whether or not you've succeeded, whether, you're, whether or not you've hit your goals, but it is an intention, an intention of how you want to live your life, how you want to feel, how you want to show up, what you would like to experience, and who you would like to become. The reason why a lot of us are so drawn to Pinterest and creating boards is because there's something about a specific lifestyle, a specific vibe that we admire and we would like to experience. And it's different for every single one of us. <laughs> when you're on Pinterest and you see a photo that you feel really drawn to, you really have to ask yourself, why am I drawn to this photo? What about this photo is drawing me in and once you answer that question you my friend have a new project something to work towards something to move towards here's an example of a photo that i feel super drawn to and was on one of my vision boards i'm drawn to this photo because it gives me a sense of community family friends a good time you know bringing everybody together and laughing crying peeing our pants that is the vibe i get from this photo that is the feeling that i get from this photo now for you it's going to be different this can be an intention that i set for the month of february let's say and i like to make a big vision board which is our main focus today is our yearly vision board but i'm going to also talk a little bit about monthly vision boards which is like breaking it down i go on Pinterest and I make a board for every single month. And so let's say this is an intention for February. It has nothing to do with the actual photo. It is the feeling that I get and the intention behind the photo that brings it to life. Me and you can be drawn to this photo for completely different reasons. So you really wanna ask yourself, what feeling do I get from this photo? Or if you have an intention, I want to bring my friends and my family together more this year. I want to have more get togethers this year. If you want to find a photo that fits that feeling that brings you a sense of community and love and like family and friends like you want to have an emotion connect to connected to the photo instead of it just being a random photo of you know i want to be rich i'm going to put this house on the vision board you know what i mean like instead of that you really want to put photos that make you feel a certain way now every time i look at my vision board and i look at this photo it's going to remind me to pick up the phone and call my grandma it's going to make me want to you know host the gathering with my friends and my family it's going to make me want to go and have a conversation with my mom or my siblings when you look at a photo enough and you practice that emotion enough you are going to subconsciously start taking action like without even realizing it you're going to start taking action that is in alignment with that goal that you have which is i have this goal of spending more time with our fam my family. That is what gives vision board so much power. It is not the vision board itself that brings things to life. It is not just, oh, I'm gonna make this vision board and everything is gonna come true and go exactly how I plan and it's gonna look exactly like this. That is not the point of a vision board. A vision board is extremely helpful because it is a visual representation of the intentions that you've set for the goals that you have, for the things that you would like to pursue and for the person that you would like 
like to become. When you look at it enough, it changes the vibration of your body and creates an emotion. And that emotion pushes you to taking action that is in alignment with that intention, with that photo, with that goal that you have. Here are some photos that was on my November and December vision board. So as you guys can see, I had like the 100K plaque on my vision board and the intention behind that was i want to grow my youtube it wasn't necessarily i want the plaque but it's i want to grow my youtube channel i want to grow my community i want to share my ideas all that is glamorous and it's amazing and it's exciting but there's a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication that goes into making content there's a lot of pain that goes into the process of getting to that end goal long hours of editing filming writing content creating filming testing different thumbnails all these things take a lot of time and they take a lot of energy and they take a lot of effort i the last video that i put up took 17 hours to film and edit and it's like it's there's a lot of work that goes into it so instead of just having that 100 100k plaque on my vision board i'll also put photos of people editing there's this picture of monet mcmitchell mcmichael mcmitchell monet y'all know monet there's this picture of monet that i had on my november vision board that i love so much because when i look at that photo it, i can see she's going hard in her editing she's spending hours on editing that video there is no such thing as getting something and giving nothing you know what i mean i'm gonna have to give long hours i'm gonna get, have to give a lot of my time to this i'm gonna have to give a lot of my free time my weekends to this and i'm okay with that and so it's romanticizing that process, putting the process on there so that you don't disappoint yourself and being real with yourself and saying, yes, I do want this thing, but it's gonna take a whole lot to get there and I'm willing to do it. And so it's that commitment and then putting pictures that align with that, those actions and those necessary steps that you need to take. It helps you make the process easier and it makes you kind of look forward to that process. I'm like, okay, editing for 16 hours is not, is a lot of work, but I'm going to try to make it easy for myself by making the vibes cute, by lighting a candle, by having a fun drink, like whatever it is. I know it's going to take a long time, but how can I romanticize this so that I can enjoy the process and enjoy the hard work that goes into that end goal, that 100K plaque? Because I know that when I get that plaque, right, it's not going to necessarily have that much value and that much meaning. It is only a moment. And so the work and the progress that goes into it, the things that I learned, the skills is really the prize. And so trying to enjoy that and trying to, you know, kind of get the vibes rolling is the end, is really the goal with vision boards. And you know, I love that picture of Monet because she's a great example of hard work paying off. Alex Hermosi, I've been watching a lot of him lately. It's so funny. I just love his vibe because he's very much like just do the work. And sometimes you need people like that who are like, just do the work. Like it's not just all gonna magically appear and magically happen you must be willing to do the work and so he really motivates me but he said something along the lines of a loser and a winner has the same goals so they both set the same goals but it's whoever is willing to actually put in the work put in the effort and work harder is going to be the one who you know succeeds in it so yes you can set goals and make a vision board and look at it every day but you need to be willing to take necessary action. So instead of just having all these pretty, amazing, glamorous photos on your vision board, put photos of people sweating at the gym, put photos of people putting in the work, put photos of people studying. I know my sister, she is in school and she put pictures of people studying because, and like, like setting a vibe, going to a cute coffee shop, all those things, it, motivates her to put in the work it's so easy for us to put a picture of our dream body on our vision board but it's also important to mentally prepare for the challenges that comes along with it so put pictures of people working out put, put pictures of healthy meals you know what i mean put pictures of people cooking meal prepping whatever it is to romanticize that process a little bit more it's funny because this is actually a scientifically proven brain hack to visualize yourself doing the hard work to visualize yourself going to the gym actually gets you amped up to do the work it gets you it gets your body amped up to go to the gym it gets your body amped up to do the hard work and so it's a little brain hack 
that you guys should use because I've been using it for years. Anytime I don't want to go to the gym, I'll go on TikTok, watch a few videos of people working out, really just like visualize myself doing those workouts and I'm ready. I'm amped to go to the gym. And so it's a little brain hack when you're able to visualize yourself doing the work, it'll be a lot more easy for you when the time comes. Vision boards work not because visualizing your goals will manifest it into reality. It's not the actual action of visualizing it, but vision boards work, but not because visualizing will manifest your desired reality. It's not the act of visualizing that makes things happen. The act of visualizing allows you to see opportunities to take aligned action to then manifest your desired reality. If you wake up and you look at your vision board and you set the intention of today I'm going to embody this version of myself who lives this way, who experiences life this way, you will remember your goal of achieving your dream body when you're presented the opportunity to either take the stairs or take the elevator on your way to work. Whereas before you would just take the elevator without thinking much. Looking at your vision board, visualizing yourself being that person, living that lifestyle, and then you set the intention every single day to embody it will literally change your life because you will continuously take aligned action that will then become proof to you that yes you can do this give you more confidence and then continue to become better make better choices you know do the hard work do the hard things and then at the end of the day get whatever dream life that you desire there is magic in vision boards but it's not the magic that we think and the magic that we hear about on social media the magic of vision boards is your intention and your attention that is what will help you experience a whole new reality and a whole new life because you now have a new level of awareness intention and attention has been one of the biggest lessons that I've probably learned over these past three years. We all have goals, whether we are conscious of them or not, okay? We are always working towards a goal. If you are working towards the goal of failure without being conscious of it, by having beliefs like, I am a failure, I can never do well, and your goal to your brain becomes failure. It will always seek failure. And even if you're really good at something, your brain is gonna find a way to find failure in what you do. And so you are always seeking something. And like I say in almost every single video, sometimes you are seeking it unconsciously. And so when you set an intention and you start to focus on something else, right? When, you sh when you're able to shift your focus, you will experience so many new opportunities, so many different ideas, so many actions that you can take and you have to learn to trust them, okay? You have to learn to trust that inner voice that tells you once you set an intention, okay, well, maybe I should do this. Maybe I should do that. Trust it. Take those actions and see where it takes you. So the magic in vision boards is not that this physical board with a bunch of photos on it is going to make things happen for you. Only God can make things happen for you, okay? Only God has that power. We can't make things happen. But when we set an intention, we enter a whole new timeline. When you make it, when we make a decision on something, we decide to embody something, we will start to recognize all of the opportunities that are around us that will help us get there that is the power of intention my mom literally always tells me and she says this in Somali but I'll say this in English because it just you know but she would always tell me if you want to be rich you have to be rich in your heart first you have to feel rich in order to be rich when you create a vision board you create feelings of empowerment of success of abundance of happiness, of excitement. And when you look at it often and you practice those feelings enough, you will find experiences and opportunities that match that inner state of yours. So when you practice those emotions enough and you actually feel abundant and you feel successful and you feel excited and happy, you will start to experience that more in your life. And if you don't believe me, try it out yourself. I'm currently rereading Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill and a few things that caught my eye last night while I was reading and I'll share it with you guys. Before we can accumulate riches in great abundance, we must 
magnetize our minds with intense desire for riches that we must become money conscious until the desire for money drives us to create definite plans for acquiring it that's so funny because that's literally what my mom has been telling me since i was a child and it's funny that i read that in this book as well it doesn't necessarily have to be about money here's another sentence he says success comes to those who become success conscious failure comes to those who allow themselves to become failure conscious and so what are you focused on where is your attention on are you focused on being a failure or are you focused on success are you focused on poverty or are you focused on abundance what are you focused on by creating a vision board you are create you are shifting your attention to whatever it was on before to this new reality that you would like to experience and the more that you feel that the more that you practice that the more that you take aligned action you will find yourself there and i love this sentence because he doesn't say that the intense desire is what brings money into your life but the intense desire is what drives you to create plans to acquiring it and so you have to take action the vision board is not going to do anything other than be there and sit there okay it doesn't make things happen in your life you have to be willing to take aligned actions and trust the process trust that it will come to you in the right time trust that it will come to you not the way that you truly imagined it but it's going to come to you in a divine disguise okay it is going to come to you how god wants it to come to you we've never been able to control anything right you apply for a job you do the best Best that you can you eat up that interview you put in all the work you are the perfect person for this job but you don't get it that power is out of your hands it is not in your hands all you can do is the best that you can and you will start to fall in love with the person that you become it's not necessarily about the 100k plaque it's not necessarily about the dream body it is about the discipline that you've built the knowledge that you've learned the memories that you've created the experiences that you've had the challenges that you faced it is never necessarily about the end goal and so keep that in mind when you are making your vision board it is not the vision board itself it is the attention it is the intention and it is the action that you take every single day. So now let's get into the steps of how to make a vision board. Step number one is going to be to get yourself in a good mood. Listen to a podcast that you really like that gets you really empowered, feeling motivated, feeling inspired. Watch YouTube videos that get you amped, make you feel motivated, make you feel inspired. You really want to be in a good mood. You want to feel like there's nothing that you can't do when you start to set your goals and create your vision board. One of the most important things you can do for yourself when beginning your planning for the new year is really just reflecting on the year before. What are you proud of? Where can you improve? What are some things that you would like to experience in 2024? Step number two would be set goals. There's so many techniques when it comes to setting goals, but I think my favorite is, okay, let's get into setting these goals. This is actually from my Notion template, which is linked in the description of this video. I'm gonna just give it to y'all. Let's watch Walk through this so that we can all benefit from it you want to break your life up into four categories okay usually it's environment health and wellness career relationships you can do whatever you want but this is just like the the basics okay so what you're going to want to do with these four areas is you're going to ask yourself what goals you'd like to reach in these areas how do you want them to look how do you want them to feel what do you want this month to look like and that's the example on the screen right now if you guys want to pause and look at it um and then you're gonna write down the habits that you need to make that your reality and that is what you're going to start working towards every month pick a few habits that you're going to start incorporating you have a whole year you have 12 months it's going to buy it's going to fly by really fast so just be intentional with every month every week every day okay but just break it down into these four categories so that it's easier for you to kind of organize your life I find that this is the most effective way to set goals. And I learned this from Brian Tracy. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to set 10 goals that you would like to achieve in the next year. In the next 12 months, what are 10 things that you will like to achieve? Don't limit yourself. Don't do too much. You know, keep it, keep it real. Keep it real. Okay. And when you set, when you list out the 10 goals that you would like to hit, you want to ask yourself, if I were to wave a magic wand and achieve one of these things in the next 24 hours, which one would have the most positive impact on your life? Once you choose one of those things, 
This is what you wake up every single day for. This is the goal that you are working towards this year. This is the theme of your year. So you're going to write it down. This is my one big goal. This is your main focus. This is what you're focused on, okay? Don't be looking around. Don't be looking at anything else. Tunnel vision, baby. Write down when you wrote, when you created this goal, when you would like to achieve it by. Bejo, what about all my other goals? What about my career, my relationships, my lifestyle? What about those goals? When you focus on one thing, you will most likely achieve everything else as well because you are growing you are learning you are unlocking new levels of mind you are not going to be the same person okay yes you want to work towards other things in your life as well every month choose a few new habits you'd like to incorporate new areas that you'd like to grow in but this is your main focus this is the theme of your year this is the thing that you're really going to work towards and then step number three is going to be rewriting your story this is something that i did for the first time three years ago and it has changed my life basically what you're going to do is you're going to be practicing scripting you're going to sit down i highly suggest to get yourself a cute new journal for this i love to get a new journal every single year put rewrite your story at the very top i think this might be my fourth year doing it yeah i think this is my fourth year it's my fourth year but it didn't the first time i did it it wasn't on january 1st or it wasn't in the beginning of the year so basically what you're going to do is you are going to write about yourself okay in third person so badge is that's how I would start mine. Behaja is. And then I write down every single thing that I want to be. I think about who I want to be at the end of the year, the goals that I've achieved, the things that I've done, the person that I've become, the way that I look, the way that I act, the way that I talk, my lifestyle, my routine. You're going to write that in third person as if it already happened. So Behaja is. And then write in great detail exactly what you would like to experience this year as if it already happened. Once you do that, you you kind of get an idea of the type of lifestyle you have, the routines that you have, the vibe that you're going for, the goals that you set. Once you have everything, you're going to go to Pinterest and you are going to find photos that represent those goals that you have for yourself. And this is going to take some time right? You want to put a whole evening off if you can, a whole day, like whatever you need to do to really find the perfect photos that represent the goals for you. If I show you guys this photo, you guys can look at it and think, oh, maybe she wants to go to Dubai when that has nothing to do with the photo. It represents abundance for me. When I'm in Dubai, just something about Dubai, it feels, it makes me feel so abundant. It makes me feel so free. And I want to experience more of that. That is why that's on there. You know what I mean? Find photos. It could be a month Monkey. but if that monkey represents something for you put it on your vision board if it, it makes you feel a certain type of way put it on your vision board so you want to find photos that represent how you want your year to look feel who you want to become put them all in a board right so if you're on pinterest put them all in one board keep that board private do not tell anybody about your goals do not tell anyone about your goals do not tell people this is what i want to do this is who i want to be da -da 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 shut it show them that that is who you're going to become show them that that is who you are becoming through your actions anyway print them all out i just go to walgreens have them all printed out cut them out place them on the board the action of making an actual vision board taking the time to cut it out glue it down all of that it's proof evidence y'all know how much i talk about the evidence portfolio on this channel it is, becomes evidence to you that badger really cares about these goals badger really cares about achieving success badger really cares about these things you are proving that to yourself and that is really important so building an actual vision board is amazing and i would highly suggest you guys do it um print it all out you guys can do this digitally as well where you take all your photos from Pinterest and put it in like a Canva sheet or whatever. But I highly suggest you do the physical board. It's just, it just hits different. Print it out, cut everything out, glue it down, um, set the vibe for yourself. I really love lighting candles, having drinks. My sister and I actually had a girls' night, a vision board creating girls' night. My sister is someone who I really trust with my goals. She didn't even like question me. She didn't even ask. She didn't even look over at my board barely. But if you're going to do it with people, do it with people that you really trust, people that root for your success behind your back. Make those promises to yourself. Set a vibe for yourself, glue it out, and then put it somewhere that you could see it. I literally have mine right above my mirror, and my mirror is directly across my bed. So when I'm going to sleep and I'm waking up, I could see it. 
look at it as often as you can make it your wallpaper make it your desktop just look at it as often as you can that's really all there is to vision boards when it comes to monthly vision boards big goals huge goals huge accomplishments are nothing but small steps that you take daily small steps that you take consistently you want to really become it you want to become the type of person so by making monthly vision boards you kind of break down your big vision board what am i going to focus on this month i don't make physical monthly vision boards i just make my monthly vision boards on my pinterest that is how you stay consistent that is how you achieve big things that is how you make big goals happen bite size okay vision boards are really helpful setting goals are really helpful but you really have to be content with the fact that it might not turn out exactly how you would like it like i said if you are failure f conscious and you focus on con if you focus on failure you're gonna find all the ways that you failed oh dang it like i didn't do this one thing that's on my vision board in some years you're gonna have to put the same picture you put on your vision board last year and that is okay as long as you've made progress towards the life that you want as long as you start making progress towards the goals and you become the person who achieves those goals and you create habits and routines that are in alignment with that that is all that matters you're going to love the life that you are creating for yourself you're going to literally have so much love and respect for yourself and your self-image is going to be chef's kiss okay that is the goal the goal is who you become focus on that focus on the process to your goals focus on romanticizing the uncomfortable moments because that is where the growth lies that is all that i have for you guys i really hope you love and enjoyed this video as much as i love and enjoyed making it for you i wish you guys the best of luck on all of your goals all of your endeavors this new year i really hope that i can continue to be a part of your journey and you guys can continue to be a part of mine i love you so much and i hope to see you next time